Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can test for leading and trailing spaces in a cell. So leading and trailing spaces are barred uh, for single value entries such as gender, uh, such as play on console, uh, such as um, questionnaire number, anything that has a single entry. Because if we do a count, for example, if we stick with gender, if I do a count on that gender column for female, it'll count all the entries that state female in this cell. If there's a space in front of the F, it won't count. And if there's a space after the E, it won't count that either. So we need to make sure that before we start uh, analyzing data, that we remove all leading and trailing spaces where possible. So I'm gonna show you how to do that using the find tool. So I'm gonna select the gender column. You can do this on any column that has a single entry. So it wouldn't work, for example, on preference because uh, there are three different words in there and there are spaces in between the words. So um, it, it can only be used on a single um, entry. So you could do it on, uh, on this column, column F as well. Uh, you can check to see if there's leading and trailing spaces there. But we're gonna stick with gender. So I'm gonna highlight the column. I'm gonna come across then to the find and select option up here and I'm going to drop the little arrow down and I'm going to select find. And what I'm going to do here is it's going to ask me what I want to find. Well, I want to find any space. So I'm just going to click the space bar. So you can see I put a space in there and I'm going to click find next. And you can see that it's highlighted this first entry here in cell C3 as having a space. So you can see clearly that there's a space in front of the F. Let's go find next again. And you can see here, it's identified this as having a space. There's no space at the at the, B, at the start of the word, so there must be a, uh, um, a trailing space after the E. So we'll go back and check that in a second just to make sure that there is. And I'm gonna go find next again. Same thing there in row 23, um, exactly the same. There's no space at the start, but there must be a space after and so on. So I can keep on going through my spreadsheet and it'll identify that I have got issues with trailing spaces. So let's go back and just double check these, um, these ones. Just click close. So you can clearly see that in the in the front of this uh, female here, there's a space. Okay, let's come to row 18, which is the one that was identified. And there's no space at the start, but you can see there's a space after the E there. If I just highlight it, you better see it. There it is. And the other one was in 23 that I said we, was gonna, we would check. And same thing there, there's no space at the front, but there is a space after the E. So that's allowed us to identify that there are issues in this column with spacing. So what we can do here now is use the trim function and the trim function will allow us to get rid of the leading and trailing spaces, um, but that's gonna be tackled in a separate video. So uh, that's how you check or use the uh, find tool to check for uh, leading and trailing spaces.